YouTube, my name is Jeremiah James, and today I'm going to show you how to connect Pentatonic Box 2 with Pentatonic Box 3 via some slides. In the previous video, I showed you how to connect Box 1 and Box 2. In this one, we're doing Box 2 and Box 3, and they're just slightly different shapes and different things we need to cerebralize so we can get our fingers used to moving into the correct spots. Um, if you're unfamiliar with what Box 2 and Box 3 are, I would recommend pausing and making yourself familiar via some other videos that explain how to play those shapes and what fingers to use. Uh, and we'll jump right into it here. I'm gonna show you just how to slide back and forth along the two shapes, and then I'm gonna play along with the backing track here too, so you can start to gain some familiarity with these shapes and how to transition between the two. All right, so we're gonna start out here. I'm gonna show you things in the key of C, and the key of C box two would look like this. <laughs> box three would look like this. All right, so to slide from box two to box three, we're gonna have something like this. And notice that I'm using my index finger on fret seven and eight as kind of the anchor. Um, and then I'm sliding with either my ring finger or my pinky. So there's the ring, here's the pinky, pinky, ring, ring, and ring. So those cover the slides up. Now let's talk about slides down. Now the finger that slides is the index finger and the uh, ring finger or the pinky take charge of the anchor positions over here. Now you could also use your middle finger to slide on some of them here. I just find it easiest to use my index finger. It's not a rule that's set in stone. You can use whatever finger you feel most comfortable with, but it's really just about feeling and sound. Does it sound good? Does it sound smooth? Is there an easier way to play it? So you've got to factor in all those things. So we're going to start with some slides up, box two to box three against the reference track now. Okay, now we're going to do slides down. Just as an example of something else, you can also skip strings as such here. Okay, so just to get you guys thinking in a creative sense there, uh, you can skip strings, you can slide. Those are two great uh, techniques to start breaking out of the pentatonic box, which is super linear and boring for the ear. So slides and skipping strings are two great ways to start breaking up that monotony. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Today we learned how to connect pentatonic box two and box three. I also showed you a, a string skipping exercise that if you'd like to practice on your own, it's a great one to start uh, giving your fingers some guitar aerobics and to get you thinking outside of the box, no pun intended. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. If it helped, make sure to give me a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for music that I'm making as well. Thanks guys.